with your JAMA controller, once you've connected your third party power supplies AC cable, you will want to take the four existing power connections and connect them to your power supply. Starting with the yellow, you're gonna connect it to the plus 12 volt four amp section. Make sure you have a solid connection and insert and tighten. Then you're going to take the green wire and connect that to the minus volt one amp section, insert and proceed to tighten. You will then take the black wire, which is your ground wire, and connect to one of your provided grounds. You will only need one. Insert and proceed to tighten with a Phillips head screwdriver. You will then take the red cable and insert into the plus volt 16 amp, 5 volt 16 amp, and proceed to tighten. Make sure all connections are secure. All right, now you will proceed to plug in your JAMA harness into your third party JAMA board. You will identify the black, red, and green cables with the smaller section of the JAMA board as those will correspond to the power section. Proceed to firmly plug in and press tightly to make sure that there is a solid connection. Okay, depending on the type of JAMA board that you have, you can now connect your JAMA board to your monitor by either using HDMI or VGA. A good tip for when using a Pandora's Box 4S is that you will need to make sure that your monitor is powered on first and then you power on your Pandora's Box 4S to achieve gameplay.